morning students today we are going to discuss about rainfall before that can you tell me what did we learn during the last class yes we learnt about wind wind energy and what are the types of wind okay children now go bring your social reader take page number 175 and 176 we are going to learn about rain we are going to learn about rain go children go bring your reader i hope you all have your reader now now i am going to ask you few questions children when there is a heavy wind a strong wind what happens can you think a moment yes if there is a strong wind or heavy wind it rains you are right it rains have you ever experienced rain you all love to play in rain yes what do you like to eat during rainy season okay what do you will wear during rainy season good i hope all like to play in the rain and also admire rain i'll tell you how rains are formed and i'll also tell you about rain water harvesting okay children we have already discussed cycle of water vapor isn't it yes water vapor get collected in the cloud and it sheds as a rain what is the major source of heat to the earth children yes sun is the major source of heat to the earth when the sun rays reaches the earth land and water bodies get heated up and they evaporate when the water bodies evaporate they get collected as the water droplets in the clouds and i am also going to tell you what are the types of clouds listen to the class carefully children okay they get collected in the clouds and when the clouds are filled up with water they shed as rain and so we get rain from the clouds now i'm going to give you few more information about rain how a rain formed heat from the sun turn moisture water okay from plants and leaves as well as ocean lakes and rivers into water vapor as gas which disappear into the air this vapor raises cools and change into tiny water droplets which forms clouds yes i'm going to tell you about clouds too when the water droplets get too large and heavy yes when the clouds get too large and heavy they fall as rain as we enjoy the rain now you understood how we get rain no children now i am going to tell you about conventional rain conventional rainfall during summer solar isolation takes place in land and water evaporates from lakes ponds and vegetation due to this a heavy rainfall with lightning and thunder occurs in the evening for a short period have you heard thunder children during conventional rainfall lightning and thunder occurs in the evening during a short period conventional rainfall occurs when the energy of the sun heats up the surface of the earth causing water to evaporate to form water vapor when the land heats up it warms the land above it 
This causes the air to expand and raises. As the air raises, it cools and condenses. This process of condensation from clouds are high in the atmosphere. If this process continues, rainfall will occur. This type of rainfall is very common in tropical areas. Between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, I think you are finding it difficult. Let me tell you step by step about the conventional rainfall. First, the sun heats the ground and warm air raises. First, what happens? The sun rays, rays heats up the earth and warm air raises up. The air get heated and raises up. Step 2. As the air raises, it cools and water vapor condenses and form clouds. When the air raises, it cools and water vapor that are water bodies condenses to form clouds. It forms a clouds. Step 3. As this water vapor gets collected, it becomes large and heavy. When the water vapor gets collected in the clouds, the clouds become large and heavy. Step 4 is the final step. Heavy rain storm occurs. These usually include thunder and lightning. As I told you before, Thunder and lightning occurs in the evening for a short period in the conventional rainfall. Now, did you understand children? What is conventional rainfall and how it occurs? Step 1. What happens? The sun heats the earth's surface and what raises up? The warm air raises up. Step 2. As the air raises, it cools and water vapor get collected in the clouds. Step 3. When the water vapor get collected in the clouds, clouds become heavy and large. Finally, what happens when the thunder and storm occurs? So, when I tell you conventional rainfall, you have to quickly recall all the four step children. Okay, now let's discuss about rainwater harvesting. Before going to rainwater harvesting, let me ask you a question, children. Do you need to save water? Yes or no? Why do we need to save water? We need to save water for the future generation. Water is also important source, children. So, we should not waste water. So, we have a process to save water. The name of the process is rainwater harvesting. I hope everybody's home have rainwater harvesting. After I explain the rainwater harvesting, quickly go check at your home how it's working. Rainwater harvesting is one of the simplest and oldest method of self-supply water for household purpose. However, large system for schools, hospitals and other faculties. One of the earliest way to save water is to simply collect it. That is a practice that refers to rainwater harvesting. It rains, our parents, our relatives or grandparents go and keep a pot or a bucket to collect rainwater. It is the oldest method, method to collect water. It is advanced called as rainwater harvesting. The collection of rainwater in large tanks. That's the transfer the container until it's needed for use. In most courses, the water is used directly from these containers without being purified or filtered. One method of rainwater harvesting is rooftop harvesting. As you see in the picture, this is called rooftop 
harvesting. There are two types of rainfall children. Orographic rainfall and cyclonic rainfall. Orographic rainfall. The monsoon wind climbs up the mountain and this increases the humidity and rainfall. Hence, the opposite sides of the mountain areas is called as rain shadow region. Thus, heavy rainfall occurs due to the influence of the mountains. Next, cyclonic rainfall. The word cyclone is already known to you. Yes, now we are going to discuss about cyclonic rainfall. The air gets stronger due to the attraction of the low pressure center in the sea. This result in cyclone. The cyclone gives heavy rainfall. Have you heard in the news they will be announcing that there is a cyclone formed in the uh, ocean or sea? This brings heavy rainfall. Many times it also results in disaster. So, we have discussed about rain and the types of rain and also about the rainwater harvesting. Now, we are going to learn about clouds. There are three types of clouds children. They are low clouds, mid clouds and high clouds. Low clouds are 6500 feet. They are located in 6500 feet. Mid cloud, they are located at a distance of 6500 to 20,000 feet. And high clouds are located at about 20,000 feet. So there are three types of cloud. What are they? Low clouds, mid clouds and high clouds. Now let's see how the clouds are divided. We have a friend to tell you how the clouds are divided children. Good morning friends. Today we are going to learn about types of clouds. The clouds are composed of water vapors in the air. The clouds are divided into four categories on the basis of appearance and height. They Cirrus cloud, stratus cloud, cumulus cloud and nimbus cloud. I'll repeat. Cirrus cloud, stratus cloud, cumulus cloud and nimbus cloud. Cirrus cloud. These clouds appear like a silver grey fish at a very high Attitude in the sky. These may not give rain, which gives hail. Next, stratus cloud. These are grey in color and are spread out. They may give small shower. They look like honeycomb or as a roll. They are low level clouds. Next, cumulus cloud. It looks like a cotton and gives convectional rainfall. The rainfall occurs mostly around 4 o'clock in the evening. Cumulus cloud also look like a cauliflower. It is also a low level cloud. Finally, a nimbus cloud. Nimbus cloud, it appears as dark or grey in colour. It gives heavy rainfall. It is called vertical or cyclonic cloud. So we discussed about different categories of clouds no children i hope you understood we will meet in the next class children i hope you understood today's lesson children take out your social class work 
write few lines about rain and about rainwater harvesting and also write a short note on nimbus cloud we have discussed about different cloud isn't it write a short note on nimbus cloud we will meet in the next class children have a nice day